Naka has received word from his Japanese agents that a supply of radium is to be dropped from a plane. But Batman interferes. What happened, sir? Well, they shot out a tire and the car left the road. I managed to jump just in time. Did they get the shipment, sir? I'm afraid they did. Well, gentlemen, it looks as if your mission was successful. We're lucky we got it. First, that new man, Chuck White, tried to double-cross us. Then the Batman showed up. The Batman? Yeah, that guy's got more lives than the cat. But this time, we finished him for sure. Now, sit down, gentlemen. Give me a full report about what happened. Well, it's too bad they had to beat us this time. We've got to find some way to stop them. You could watch that house on Bell Street. Oh, they're too smart to hang out around there, as long as I know that Chuck White's still around to identify them. Well, I guess we're up against the blank wall, then. Uh, not yet. We still have Marshall down at police headquarters. He's good for a lot of information. He'll be made to talk. We couldn't make him talk before, and we had him in the Bats Cave. Yeah, but Marshall hasn't met Chuck White as yet. I don't get it. You better go to bed now. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. OK. Good night. Good night. Just a few minutes after White disappeared, the Batman attacked us. Which should convince us that White must be a member of the Batman's organization. And we can't use the Bell Street house anymore because he knows all about it. Precisely. Not until Mr. White is eliminated. Ah, but now that we have this, it will take but a few days to complete the weapon, which will be more destructive than anything man ever dreamed of. Looks like everything's going okay. Right now. In here.
of a cigarette? Thanks. Keep the pack. I'll be getting out of here pretty quick. I'll get some more. You just came in. It's all right. I got connections. They'll bail me out of here in no time. What are you in for? Just for looking around a guy's place. Prowling, they called it. Huh. That ain't very serious. You done much of it? Oh, I get around. And you get in some funny places, too. Now, this one night, I'm prowling through a house when all of a sudden I get into a place that's filled with bats, flying all around. And there's a one great big bat as big as a man sitting at a desk in the middle of the room. Well, I got so scared, I really took a fast powder. Sort of, uh, Batman? Yeah, that's it, a man looking just like a bat. You remember where the house was? Yeah, our finest way. Listen, I know a man who'll pay you plenty for that information. No kidding. Where's that guy? Go to 112 Mill Creek Road. Ask for Croft. Say that Marshall sent you. You say you'll pay me dough if I tell him where the guy with the bats lives? That's right. Yeah. You might tell him that Marshall, that's me, is locked up here. I'll be glad to do that for you, pal. Thanks. Mr. Hanson? Yeah, what can I do for you, Jack? Uh, we wish to have a man released from jail. Well, you came to the right place. Who's the mug you want me to spring? His name's Chuck White. Uh, he's my father. Costs money to get guys out on bail. Oh, we have the money, sir. <clears throat> What's your old man in for? I think it's called prowling. Suspicion of burglary, huh? Imagine a nice kid like you with an old man like that. Well, I'll see what I can do. It'll cost 25 bucks for an extra five for my services. That much? Well, you're a nice kid. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll only take two bucks for myself. Here you are. How long will it take you to get him out of jail? Why, he'll be sprung before tonight. If he gets into another jam, just call on me. Thanks. Thank you. Section 1. Section 50 reporting. Proceed. I have information that Chuck White is being held in jail on suspicion of burglary. Oh. Well, uh, have him bailed out, then proceed with plan five. All right, break it up, boys. Deck has got a job he wants you to do right away. If that guy White knew why we put up the bail for him, he wouldn't be too anxious to get out. Evening paper, five stop final. Get your evening paper, next day. Get hey, taxi. There he is. Start the motor. Nice work, Klein. That's much better than running over him. Yeah. That ought to be curtains for Mr. White. Much obliged for fixing me up, Doc. That's our job. Say, where's the nearest form? Right out there in the corner. Oh, thanks. Wayne residence. Hello, Alfred. Oh, it's you, Mr. Bruce. We were getting worried about you, sir. Well, I just got out of the hospital. I was in a taxi accident, but I'm all right now. Oh, that's shocking, sir. You're sure you're all right, sir? Yes. Now, meet me at the corner of 18th and Main right away. Yes, sir. We'll be there in a jiffy, sir. What's the trouble? The master had a narrow escape from being killed. He wants to pick him up immediately at the corner of 18th and Main. Dacker should be more than pleased when he gets our report. I don't care whether he's pleased or not, just as long as he pays off. Yeah. Turn around and step on it. Well, how'd you make out, fellas? 
You just gave that plan five a new twist. Yeah. Instead of running over the guy on the street, we mashed him up in a cab. Are you sure you finished him? There's no doubt about it. Swell, I'll tell Dak of the good news. You'll have to turn off on Mill Creek Road somewhere around here. It's just a short way ahead, sir. Alfred, drive down the road a few hundred yards and wait for us. like that place is well guarded. Well, I'm gonna gin again. I can't see anything from here. Let's try the door. I'm taking a walk. It might change my luck. More if we brought him in alive. You know, a man of his strength would be very useful if turned into a zombie. Well, I'm going to rip off that mask and see what he looks like. It's Chuck White. Well, I guess you didn't do a very good job when you crashed that cab. Hey, where's that kid? Calling the police. Calling the police. Come to 112 Mill Creek Road. Come at once. It's very urgent. 112 Mill Creek Road. That kid's managed to cut in on the police wavelength. We've got to get out of here. Come on. Better leave. The police are on the way. What are we going to do with these guys? Well, we can't take them with us, but I'll promise you they'll never bother us again. I'm going to blow up this place so the police won't find all that equipment. You boys better get out of here. A poison cigarette Captain Arnold is about to smoke, and Docker's men use zombie Warren to lure his niece, Linda, into the spy's clutches. Who dropped that cigarette under the oily rags? Can Linda escape from the blazing building? Don't fail to see Embers of Evil, Chapter 12 of Batman at this theater next week.